back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man. But he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done today. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team has been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion. martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Monster. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herbert Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Missed with that right hand. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to break the fight into a closer distance. Let's go. That was a great shot. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Separate after exiting the clinch. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big right hand. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, nice. Nice 
job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Lee. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh, nice. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. That's eating him alive. Nice shot there by Jake. Oh! He's got to start throwing now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Finish with the kick. Beautiful shot lands the leg there. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, spinning heel kick and it lands. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. I now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, with authority, the body. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not get the lights off. And now he's past to try to find that shot again. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Starting to do some real... He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Fifteen seconds. Way to be first. Beautiful hands on this play. Another punch lands. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight huh. and throw punches huh. with his free hand. Round two is next. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and that is one of the best five-minute stands as you will ever see from a fighter. Rocked him multiple times, unable to get him out of there, but came pretty darn close. He did come close to finishing the fight, but he didn't get it done. Now, it will be on him to try and stay patient, try to find the kill shot without overextending himself and putting himself in trouble. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want Ready. to see as you're Good. walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to your stool. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively, though. Oh! He's in a ton of trouble right now. Oh, my goodness! You land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. 
Fighter lands a nasty kick. And he blocks the shot there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. Oh! He heard him. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Nice jab by Lee. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Outstanding placement as he lands. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Big right hand there. Flip well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice kick to the body. Punch got blocked there. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, so he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his... Oh, how about the ankle pick there? Well, if the single leg, the double leg's not working, go deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him. Though. Boy, you gotta keep digging into that toolbox. He has so many different attacks. We saw that right now with that beautiful ankle pick. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. His nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Seconds to go in round two. Oh, nice combination, yes. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Now goes to the uppercut. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. 
Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that power. Yeah. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Big knee lands there. Sitting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him. He's wobbling now. Nice little shot, Lance. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice jab. Straight punch. Useful. When he gets close, he throws. He lands. the space so that he doesn't get finished. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangled tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one is. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Slip. He's hurt. Oh, nice body shot. Kicks here, but just out of range. Two minutes to go. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Oh, no! Man, this is Holy smokes! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers.